There's nothing more beautiful seeing a record come from nothing and then the conception to, you know, writing it, to performing it and people singing it as if they wrote it. So why Chapter 5? Is it because it's the fifth album? Uh, yeah, definitely because it's the fifth and, and I didn't even realize when I named it Chapter 5 that it would be so uh, so much of a reflective time for me, like mm -hmm. looking back to the chapters that got me in. It's mm -hmm. been uh, all throughout the marketing and all throughout the fan experience as well. They've been reminding me the chapters that they started rocking with me, mm -hmm. the chapter that they loved the most. And I, I'm sure you know very well that an album cycle is like a different chapter in your life. And this one, I, I've been able to evolve and you know, I'm very proud of the music. I'm mm -hmm. so happy about it. Like it's every time I listen to it, like I listen to it every day. We had these listening sessions uh -huh. and you would think like after making an album for two years and listening to it every day, you'd be tired of it. But I still get excited. It's like a That's when you know you have, right. yeah, that's yeah. when you know you have that joint. Like I can hear it every day, all day, and I'm not tired right. of it yet. Yeah, I could definitely relate because my album, Chapter Two, back in what was that 03 or 04 so it definitely feels like right. this is the next evolving place you mm -hmm. know what I mean where you are so you kind of quoted on your website that the album will take you many places emotionally and sensually so yeah. does that mean are we going from the bedroom to the kitchen floor are we strolling on romantic parks I walks mean, in the park what are we doing from the bedroom to the kitchen floor <laughs> take a shower then take a, a romantic, a romantic walk. Stroll. <laughs> yeah. then we might break up then I might go to the club for a couple uh -oh. reasons <laughs> <laughs> and then I might be sick of playing hard and tell you I want I want you back, baby. Please accept See? my love. Uh, I love that. I think it's just life, love, and you know, enjoying life as well. It takes you so many different places without leaving the cornerstone of my career that is R and B. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? While still taking steps towards progression and evolution, but still uh, making sure my my core fan base is taken care of and uh, very happy. As an artist, you got to realize nowadays there's so many options that fans have, mm -hmm. and everything is so uh, everything is so disposable. Music nowadays is Absolutely. so disposable, and everything is so transient that fans will look over it if it's not drilled into them. Absolutely. If you don't super serve the people that love you the most, then they'll they'll abandon you as if you abandon them. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about some of these titles. Let's talk about the, the title. panty weather. I knew you was going straight there. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, I mean, but let's I mean, yeah, that it's, visual. Self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, you know, on my uh, ready album, I had a record entitled Panty Dropper that opened the album up, and it was an uh, uh, intro. It was a minute, 30 seconds, and uh, people loved the song to death, but they wanted it longer. So on the Passion, Pain, and Pleasure album, I actually put the full version on the bonus. Okay. And uh, Panty Weather is kind of like a, a sequel, you know, uh, and one... <laughs> <laughs> one of the uh, one of the lyrics in the in the chorus is, uh, "You ain't gotta take 'em off, just pull 'em to the side." Oh. Hey. So in the first one, you could drop them and then you could keep them on. on this <laughs> keep one just twanging yeah, over to the side. <laughs> you were silly. Just twang it over. Twang it over I ain't never heard the twang it over verse. <laughs> All right, how important is it to you to be a part of your records? Like how, uh, what part of the process, how much of the process are you a part of? I'm, I'm very much willing to collaborate, but being a part of the process from the beginning to the end is nothing more beautiful seeing a record come from nothing and then the conception to, you know, writing it, to performing it and people singing it as if they wrote it. But even if a record is brought to me, I make it cater to what it is I'm doing. Making a record my own is very important to me and making sure it is something that I would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I, I truly wrote probably uh, probably about 85, 90% of the album. That publishing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you have met uh, Mr. Obama. Yeah. How was that? Ah, uh, President Obama, his spirit is so great. You mm -hmm. know, shaking his hand and, and actually having a chance to bring my family to meet him was something that I was very proud of, you know. I never had a desire to meet a president before Barack was president. Mm -hmm. I feel the same uh, way. Uh, and having met him now my third time and really being someone that could genuinely support him and, and, and speak to his cause and, and have my fan base understand what it is he's trying to do for our country and have mm -hmm. him look me in my eyes and say thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's amazing to me. All right, now tell me one thing. What would you tell yourself now, back then? I would tell myself to be patient. A lot of people say that. That is I, a lot of answers. I would tell myself also to learn all that you can learn. Because early on in the career, you pay people to do their jobs, but you have to know what their job is and know the parameters of it so you can have some sort of accountability within Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, and I think the most important part of the music business in, in order to, to sustain a career is the business aspect. Mm -hmm. And that's something I would have told myself too.
That's pretty dope. Well, thank you so, thank you so much, much for coming by. It was good, thank you. All love.